So, hey Steve, how are you? I'm, I'm Nick. good. Hi Nick, how are you going? So, your session was about the tyranny of distance in Australia. So, what's, yeah. what's your take on that? Yeah, it wasn't, it, it wasn't just about Australia and overseas, which came out earlier in one of the other talks. Was, I actually live in Queensland, I live on the Gold Coast. I commute to Brisbane every day. I did commute to Sydney every week for yeah. about a year. Um, and it was really a uh, very open discussion about. Um, Australia, we've got some very unique geography here with our cities. We've got certain cities that are ahead of others, like Sydney's definitely a, a hub. Um, you know, how can we, um, you know, work together to improve that? We spoke quite a bit about um, government grants and getting funding for Australian initiative and for people here in Australia, rather than the um, the drain away overseas, and um, trying to sort of address that. Um, but yeah, it's a Good discussion. So my and question uh, is, do you think that um, even though we live in this web world, internet world, people are really collaborating electronically online? Do they feel comfortable doing that with projects, disconnected projects? There's a little bit of that, but I think there's definitely still a need for face-to-face. -face. I think these events like this are fantastic. We can get more of these grassroots type uh, discussions going. I think this is where there's real value. And there was some um, discussion in there about uh, industry organisations, things like that, weren't really sort of addressing that. They were more coming from the top down, from the big companies. And, um, it wasn't really addressing the needs of developers and, uh, and, and also you know, specifically Australia and you know, some of the uniqueness of that about Australia and the people and uh, innovation. and. A lot of people are talking about the difference between the US and here, how there's a bit more, um, uh, not the word, but uh, things like bankruptcy and things like that are all sort of very negative, whereas the US is more um, tolerant to that. And, uh, the, the entrepreneurship? The, yeah, entrepreneurship. There's a different attitude there and um, whether, how things can change here, whether, whether you want to change them here, I don't know. But uh, that was really where I, 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 it was a very open. Uh, discussion. discussion. No, I didn't really know where it was going to go. But it was interesting. So, looking forward to having some more um, conversations with people online on the on the blog or the wiki about this and trying to continue this. And um, I'm also looking at potentially doing a Queensland bar camp. That's yep. one of the reasons I came here today. So. Uh, trying to network with as many Queenslanders as I can find and just get an idea if there's enough interest for it. Uh, a we're, a, we're a smaller there. market up yeah. there and it's everything smaller but if we can get a critical mass of people then I think something like this would be very successful. So my last question is what's your geek story? Oh geek stories, um, yeah I'm a bit of, yeah my wife will definitely say I'm a bit of a geek. I mess around a lot with the uh, TiVos and all sorts of things like that. I'm an electronic engineer originally so uh, um, a bit of a Linux nut, so anything that can run Linux, I'll give it so a go. So you're running so, Linux on your TiVo? Uh, TiVo runs a kind of a kind mm. of Linux. Yep. Also play around with the Linksys um, slugs quite mm. a bit. I don't know if you've seen those. They're a little uh, NAS unit. Yep. So I've uh, been messing around with running Debian on those. Yes. So Have you run Myth TV? I'm Did working on setting the Myth TV box at the moment, and I've got some. Uh, I've, I'm really a bit of a collector of Linux devices, so I've also got some of these Halpage. Um, uh, MVP, media MVPs, which I'm looking at potentially streaming uh, media off of Myth TV box to that because they support the Myth um, standard. So, yeah, I'm quite into the AV and all the streaming stuff, and um, I just I just love running Linux on things. So, I've got a little, uh, uh, what have I got? A little uh, Palm One Trio. Apparently, there's a version of Linux that's starting it. Just going to run on that. So, so what does your wife say? I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to uh, <laughs> sure install enough. it on that yet. But, uh, so, what does your wife say when something doesn't work? Because uh, invariably in my house, there's... I have to always have a backup. Oh, so, okay. the TVs I've got two. So, <laughs> there's always one that is the golden unit that <laughs> never gets touched. And uh, so, as long as I don't mess with her, um, her um, Grey's Anatomy or whatever she's recorded in. I, 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 I'm sort of, I, I didn't even think of using like an IT style, you know, production test and development yeah, style yeah, server. Yeah, absolutely. I've got a migration plan and everything. I'm going to go do that. <laughs> okay, Steve, thanks for appearing. Thanks a lot.